Shalom and welcome to PowerPoint. We're uh, studying the letter of the Apostle Paul to his spiritual son, Timothy, and today's text is out of 2 Timothy 2.11. I want to read it and then we're going to just talk real practically about this. I want to talk, maybe you're not a believer, maybe you're just kind of, someone sent you this PowerPoint, you're not saved, you don't even know what saved means. Before I got saved, I, when I got saved, I called my wife and I said, I, thought, I think I had a nervous breakdown. She says, you got saved. I said, saved from what? So, I mean, I understand not understanding religious talk, churchy talk, Christian talk. But I just want to explain it this way, okay? Paul gives a letter to Timothy and he says, It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. Okay? Well, that's crazy talk to like an average human being to be dead is to live. But... It's a spiritual statement. What it means is, is that when you come to the earth, you're born with what we call an Adamic nature. You have a, a nature from the garden, from the fall with Adam and Eve, okay? You have a nature that wants to survive, and it's going to do whatever it can to survive in the soulish realm. But the problem is a lot of that soulish realm survival skills are manipulation, lying, cheating, and stealing, which is common to all men, me, you, everybody. So what happens is, Jesus comes and he says, you must be born again. So the blood of Jesus comes and when it expunges or removes our sin from our account so that we're not considered unrighteous, the righteous things from heaven that want to flow to us flow to us when we live in right standing with God, doing it God's way and not in a manipulative way. So what Paul's telling Timothy in this letter is you need to, even though you may be saved, Timothy, and you're part of God's kingdom, you need to stop living with the choices of the old soul man of fear and doubt and manipulation. Quit doing that. You need to, be, you need to die to that and let the spirit resurrect in faith, hope, and love. And, and that's, that's the difference between real Christians. I'm not talking about church people. I'm talking a real born again Christian actually has love, peace, and joy and patience. Not perfect, but what happens is they strive to live in that realm because they're living out of their Holy Spirit, the abiding presence of Messiah in them. They're living out of that river and not out of the river of fear that comes from the garden with Satan. So that's probably the best way I can describe it to you. And if you need to be born again, I want you to say this prayer. Say, Father God, uh, I'm tired of living the rat race. I'm, I'm just tired of it. I can't take it anymore. Um, I need to be born again. I want what Rabbi Kurt's talking about. If you just say this prayer, say, Father God, I repent. I'm a sinner. We were all sinners. Lord, I ask you to forgive my sins. I ask you that the love of God and the anointing that's on this PowerPoint come into my life. Lord, I received the letter. I need to die. I'm tired of my old self. I would like to die to my old self so that I could be resurrected in what the creator of the universe created me to be for. He created me to be a righteous man and a righteous woman of God. Lord, I choose to die to the old and be resurrected in the new by the power of the name of Yeshua, the name of Jesus. Lord, I receive the blood of Jesus over my life to remove my sins so that I have no shame. Father God, I come boldly to you and I ask, Lord, give me a new life. Resurrect me into my purpose. Resurrect it. I know I was created for something. Resurrect me in that. Lead me and guide me. Holy Spirit, come with fire and baptize me with fire. Fill me with the Holy Spirit that I might be able to hear your voice because the Bible says that his sheep know his voice. I want to be one of those sheep. Lord, I am one of those sheep today. I am born again. I am resurrecting in the power of your glory. Lord, use me and, and, and Lord, lead me this day in Jesus' name. I'll give you all the glory. If you did this for the first time today, if you'll email my office, I want to send you a special gift that will help you with your walk with the Lord. God bless you and shalom.